Tuesday. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, guys. What's up, guys? Turn it up Tuesday. Here we go. Is it gorgeous? Kind of overcast outside. Oh, Beautiful. Man. What's nothing, up? Nothing. Nothing better than an overcast day in Phoenix, for sure. So. What's up, Maine's in the house? How's the weather in Maine? First time, guys. We're on episode 84. <laughs> we're about wrapping this up. We're we ready missed. to wrap it up. This week is going to be our last week. So. Um, Land in the house, Vancouver. We're glad that you jumped on. Better, uh, better now than never. So. Guys, we're just going to give it a minute here. Let the let the people jump on. I know a lot of you are going about your day, and then all of a sudden you hear a whistle, and it's us two crazy kids in your in your faces. So thanks for jumping on. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate yeah. you so much love. We had over a thousand people watch us yesterday, just not live, but people are watching on Twitter and they're also watching the replay. So just to recap, if this is the first time you've ever been on Periscope, it's a wonky platform. It's not always the most smooth. So jump off and then you can find us on Twitter. Find Global Executives on Twitter over on your laptop or computer and it's so much more smoother over on the computer end. Yep. So, oh, Paul, did you get some haircut? I think what you did. What I do? Oh, I got Looking my, fresh. I got Looking my hair fresh. did. <laughs> but we love you too, guys. That was after I allocated my revenue Monday money into its appropriate accounts. I think somebody said they watched it since episode forty-four. Wow, that's awesome, guys. Episode forty-four. Wow. Good. So. We want your business to explode because we're yep. giving you tangible stuff, guys. Out with the old stuff. You ain't, You don't have to do it like that anymore. Paul and I give you new 2.0 methods, so if you've never seen us before, hello, my name is Lynette. Guys, the, uh, oh, my name is Paul. This is yeah, Paul. Uh, my name is Paul. I still haven't got that down after 84 okay, episodes. He wants to just, he gets so excited, he wants to jump straight into training, but. Guys, you, what we equate this to is what we talk about is, you know, horse and buggy versus taking the Ferrari. I mean, we, we'll, we'll get there, we'll both get there. You know what I mean? He said the horse and buggy. But it's somebody's so true. gonna somebody's gonna get there faster, um, and it's not about who gets there faster. It's about getting there. You know, we're we're into making life simple. We don't. We came into this business. We didn't know anything about it, and we wanted to figure out the best way to do it, the with the easiest way to connect with people, and and the most efficient way to retain uh, people in our business and inspire people to move into action. That's the only reason we're doing this. No, guys, the videos are not on Twitter. Remember, Periscope is a 24-hour replay. So you got 24 hours, and we're gone. This we're is gone. just like Mission Impossible. This message will self-destruct within 24 hours. That's what I said the Amish so, were It's so true. Yeah, I mean, some of you we'll, have been guys, so you'll get frustrated, there. and we don't want to see you frustrated anymore. Um, Paul and I always teach energy first and technique and mechanics second. You can do all the technique and mechanics that you want. If your energy still isn't in alignment, if you still haven't found your purpose, if you haven't still cleared all the internal junk inside, because Paul and I go into clearing the core wounds, if you haven't done the internal work, the reading and the self-development, you can do all the technique you want, ain't nothing gonna work. Guys, check nothing this out. We might, as, we might as well go over this because we're we're coming into a home base and we're, we're uh, wrapping it up this week. So why don't we just go over the rules of the game for everyone that's jumped on. You guys have heard it before. I want to continually remind you, the people that have heard it a hundred times before, that this, this is it, guys. If you get these four philosophies, you can accomplish anything in your life. I mean, and because you, it's just... If you're brand new, grab a pen and piece of paper because you haven't heard this. And we, we sound like a broken record, but those that have watched us know that there is no other record you should be playing. Yeah. So this is the rule of the game. These are the phil philosophies that you have to do and think about every single day. You know, Jim Rohn, he, he always talked about not necessarily techniques. He talked about philosophies. He talked about how do you have to think to become uh, more successful. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better, we right? Like so how do we get better? Well, we need to think differently. In order to think differently, we need to have some new philosophies on how to approach things in our life. But um, lo let's, let's dive right into it. Now, real quick before I do this, if you guys, and this is just a totally self-absorbed goal that I've been wanting to hit before we end our Periscope 90 Day uh, run, oh. I want to hit a million hearts 
So if you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and tap on the screen. Give us some yeah. love. I think we're almost at 700,000. We want to hit a million. Yeah. So, you know, I know you're going to be taking notes. That's okay. But when I you can, throw I some am. throw some, uh, throw some, some hearts on the screen. Woo, so heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. A anyway, let me, get into, let me get into this right away. The rules of the game are, and there's four of them, so we keep it real simple. Someone said tap that. Break it down into four different things. Number one, rule of the game, you are 100% responsible for all of your efforts and all of your results. We cannot control anybody else, we cannot control anything else other than what we put in and the results that we get out of what we put in. Um, so it comes down to you, what you do and what you don't do. How, how many know that not doing something is still doing something? That you're just not doing the right thing? So. Some of you are still watching us on Periscope and going, well, it sounds like they know what they're talking about, but I haven't done anything yet. It's time to get to work. We're in week four of this 90-day game plan, and some of you still, still don't even have your 90-day game plan book. I mean, ours is at the house. We always have it with us. We're always writing it in. We're always going over those bullet points, making sure that we hit everything. Again, you're 100% responsible. You can't blame anyone if your business isn't growing. You can't blame your upline. You can't blame your team. You can't blame your dog. You can't blame your mother. Not even the dog. I've got one of those mothers. Oh, not even the She's mom. not supportive right now. It's okay. <laughs> Bless and release. <laughs> Rules of the game number okay, two. Okay, rule of the game number two. We talk about energy first, techniques and mechanics second. She talked about this just a second ago. Guys, if you're not in alignment with your purpose, if you're not in, in, in an energy uh, in a state, you know, let's talk about state. You don't have to talk about energy and some some kind of uh, vibrational thing. It's really how what how do you show up in the world? You know, if you're not if you're not focusing on the positive, if you're not focusing on being solution oriented, if you're not focusing on figuring things out like Michael Klaus says, if you're not trying to focus on what you do want every step of the way rather than what you don't want, you're not, you're going to shoot yourself in the foot because energy first then mechanics and techniques. It, the mechanics and techniques are so much more effective if you're in that energetic place that is uh, is like conducive that. with your goal. Life balance. Okay. Congratulations. We always, we're always about working smarter, not harder. Yeah. Uh, rule of the game number three is, uh, this is a toughie for a lot of people, but if you can get this one, it's going to make your journey so much easier. Detach yourself from the outcome always work without expectation or emotion, right? So what are we talking about? We're talking about the the not so fun, the boring, the monotonous, the unsexy work that we all have to do every single day, every single day, we're gonna talk about the rule of five today, every single day we have to do this boring work, but we can't get emotionally attached to whether we think that it's working or not, we have to continue to do it. If I go into a gym today, and I do three sets of ab crunches, it would be crazy for me to tell you that I should expect to have a washboard stomach, okay? It's no different in this business. You have to keep doing it on a daily basis. The results will show up, but give it time, okay? So detaching yourself from the outcome is essential so you don't get frustrated while those results are in process showing up, okay? And the rule of the game number four is be like water. It comes from a Bruce Lee quote, you got to learn to flow. You got to learn to kind of that. bend. You have to learn to uh, kind of, uh, go with the flow. We know that saying, right? So this is about kind of adapting to what's happening around you and adjusting yourself so you you can maximize on this particular event, and, and if whether some, it's good or bad. And if some of you are brand new, because you know Paul and I, we don't like teaching. Everything has to be in the box. It has to be this way. It has to be a president's pack. You have to manually enroll. <laughs> None of that. How many? I want some. For those of you that are brand new, I want you to watch the comments in the bottom. Who has used their website to enroll someone and it was the most brilliant, most easiest thing that's ever happened to you? Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Watch all the people that talk about There's they've one. used their website. And I know people are going, website? What, what? Oh, no. You know My the, upline said <laughs> don't use the website. There you go. Look. There we go. We have enrolled person after person over 60 after person after person. people in our company. 60 people Paul and I personally enrolled and we've always used the website. Mm -hmm. It's so simple, it's so easy. We teach you how to do it. There is a wrong way to do it. If you've never done it before, there is a wrong way to do it. So stay with us. We'll, we'll teach you how to do it the right way, but it's so much easier and it's just like, wow. Yeah. yeah. 
why Upline said not to, because it's old school Guys. stuff. Yeah. We live in 2015. People know how to go shopping online now. Reason, and if you're not building your business on the internet, I'm not sure what you're doing. Yeah. So the reason people were hesitant initially to use the website that is provided to listen by to your upline. <laughs> it, it, Guys, no, the, we're not saying that. We're not saying that. But the, the reason people are initially hesitant, if they've been in the industry, if they've been in the the game for a minute, mm -hmm. and they 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 see as Amazon. They let they tell people not to use the website that their company gives them when they first jump on board, is because they only know what they know, so they're going to teach what they know. They don't trust the other way because they haven't experimented with it, or they think it's too risky, or it's too different. Because different, a lot of different things people are afraid of because it's different, just, and that's okay. Yeah, but so. we're te we're mm -hmm. telling you that we had no other option to do it this way. And we've talked about that story before, well, so well, some people don't know our story. Okay, well, we'll we'll get into that when we talk about the so. website for sure. But guys, there's a reason that we had to kind of uh, flow and start using the website as a way to build our business rather than the yeah. other way around. Because so, real quickly, if some of you don't know our story, when Paul and I got into this business, Paul got fired. I left medical school. I had no more student loans. We had no money, so our internet got shut off. We had no cell phone home phone got shut off. Everything was getting shut off and even the cable guy came over and knocked on my door and confiscated my cable box. He was so nice about he it. He was so nice. He said, we got to upgrade your box. I'll be back never. He took it. And we had no hot water. <laughs> we had no gas to cook food. And we had to improvise. Just like Michael Klaus says, you figure it out. Oh, see. So we rode Wi-Fi at a local coffee shop. We walked down there and we had to learn how to do three-way chats because we couldn't do three-way calls. We had to learn how to help people enroll themselves because we couldn't manually do it. So it worked in our favor and it worked amazingly and now we're teaching you how to do it. But let's go ahead and get into our training because we got a lot of stuff to cover. Yes. If yep. you've never heard of the rule of five, we're gonna go into so that. Good. But I wanna I forgot to mention something yesterday. Because remember yesterday's episode we talked about how to brand yourself and I went into one way how to brand yourself online is to utilize the dip theory. Mm. I also told you that you could actually um, communicate or connect with other network marketers online by simply becoming a customer. Remember I told you you could do a, a, a post and just say, you know, I really want to, what, what did I say? Um, well, we're calling it the call out post. It's called the call out post and I'm trying to connect with other network marketers and the way that I did that was to say I love, um, you're looking I for love, a particular service. I love supporting other women in this industry, and I'm looking for a unique presenter. Does anybody know anybody who is a unique presenter? And then you will have all of your friends on Facebook start commenting on the bottom because you, do you want to become a customer. So I support a lot of women in this industry. I love this industry so much. Does anybody know of a unique presenter? Because I want to support them, and I want to become a customer. So when they start commenting on the bottom, all your friends will go, well, I know somebody, I know somebody watch what happens because I didn't tell you this part once you find your unique presenter they can easily become a customer but look how many people referred you referred that unique presenter to you because what I've done in the past is if I'm looking for let's just say a unique presenter and I have all my friends comment in the bottom oh I know somebody I know somebody I'm gonna go to all of these people that referred and I'm gonna send them a back message and just say I really appreciate that you referred somebody to me. Did you know that you could probably do what I do and I can help you make some bonuses on the side? Look what I just did. I found people who refer. That is true network marketing. You just referred somebody, yet you didn't get paid. Well, let me show you that and I can show you how to get paid because you referred somebody to me. Hello? This is two folders. There's two things happening when I post like that. So you try it. Maybe you need you know, in my company, you know, we're health and wellness, so you want to choose another company that's non-competitive, you can get a customer and you can also reach out to everybody that's referred that person to you and just say, hey, you didn't get paid for that. Uh, you want to take a look at what I do and I can help you get paid, mm -hmm. okay? Very simple but very effective and we challenge you to do that and the dip theory this week. So these are the kind of posts. These particular two posts are something you will not be doing. There you go, refreshing the algorithm because there's dialogue going, right? Yeah, these are two posts you will not be doing on a daily basis or even a weekly basis. They'll lose their effectiveness these if you are, do it yeah, that way. So good point. once every two to three to four weeks, okay, yep. depending on 
your audience, the time of the day, and the, the, the day of the week. So, so just to recap, the, the dip theory and the call out post are both power posts that should be done every two to three weeks. Don't get into the habit of doing this all the time. Yep. Okay. So uh, with that, do we have any other recaps yesterday? Because we went over the two week turnaround. Uh, for those of you that were on with us, guys, we wanted to 10 exit with you guys, throwing in the videos in your product page, putting up some videos on your personal page, making it happen so that you're in people's faces more often. Uh, nope. We're going to talk about the Facebook algorithm, so don't worry about you know being too uh, too present because it's hard to hard to do that on yeah. the Facebook world. Yeah. So let's go over the rule, rule of five really quickly, especially for those that don't know what we're talking about. If you do know about the rule of five, just kind of make sure that you're hitting these points so you can teach this to your team. It's really important that we duplicate now. Even if you've heard us a million times, that's okay. You can't overhear this enough, but you've got to duplicate this to your team now. Your team needs to grow. It's not just about you now. It's about your team, so get them paid. Get your team paid. And this is why we do it. We keep it simple so it's duplicatable, okay? So we broke this down to the rule of five. For those of you that don't know what the rule of five is, and for those of you that do, this is a good refresher. But the rule of five is based on a. God, this weather is so beautiful. I'm just. <laughs> it's it's based on a, uh, a principle from John Maxwell and Jack Canfield. They both talk about it. Isn't he awesome? I just love him. <laughs> I could just listen to him all day. Literally, we're, we're talking about this 24 <laughs> 7. We, we, that's another point, guys. Before I go into the rule of five, I think we talked about this yesterday, but we literally think about what we do for a living 24 7 because that's how bad we want it. Um, I know some of you have a lot of other things in your life and people are like, how do I how do I find the time to do what you guys do? Because I just don't have it. Guess what? We didn't find the time, we made the time. And then once we made some time, we actually got more time because we got rewarded for it. Yeah, so you can't sleep. go into it like this and you'll have a much better effect on what you actually do. So that's how you know you found you know, you see and you've casted the vision, you see the vision. Now we've now we've got to cast the vision to somebody to somebody else because when they can't sleep they get it. Oh yeah. They get it. Yeah. So. If if Bruce and Joanne are on right now, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so the the rule of five comes from a story that they both talk about, John Maxwell and Jack Canfield. Uh, whereas if you had an axe and there was a large tree in the backyard of your house or in a field or whatever, and you go to that tree every single day and you take five swipes, just five. Five swipes of that tree trunk every single day, no matter how big the tree is, eventually it will fall. You know, the tree falling is equivalent to you getting your goal, but the point is you don't have to do everything now to get your goal. You have to do just five swipes today. Don't worry about the million swipes in your lifetime, just the five swipes today. Oh, oh. there's a bee. Oh, there's a bee. Don't be tripping, dude. <laughs> uh, so me and bees don't get along. Although I love them because they pollinate all of the fruits that I love. Um, anyway. He really does have a soft big heart. <laughs> the point is, these are the five swipes per day in our industry in network marketing that if you did these every single day, you just took the five swipes every single day, eventually that tree will fall. Eventually you will get your goal. Eventually you will show up and you'll see, wow, I'm, I'm good. I did it. I'm on point. This is the goal. I made it. So, however fast or slow you want to get this done is up to you. You can take five swipes a day. That's the minimum since we're 10xing everything. And we talk about Grant Cardone's philosophy of 10xing your life. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he has a book. We're outside, so we didn't bring the book, but it's called The 10x Rule, and it will change the way you think about how you should show up in the world. But if you want to 10x your results, not you if. Just go ahead and just make the decision to dominate. Yes. So get the 10x book. It's called the 10x rule by Grant Cardone. Please make sure you get that. But the but the um, idea is, if you're looking to 10x your results, you have to 10x your efforts. They have to go hand in hand. One does not exist yeah. without the other. Good point. So, we're going to tell you about the five swipes, and it's up to you on how many times per day you want to repeat it. Okay. But at least do it once per day. Okay. And then move up from there out of your comfort zone. So here we go. Rule of five. Now this is different than the rules of the game. I know they kind of sound similar, but this is different. Okay, now, that's why we gave you the backstory. I really want you to hone in on the rule of five because if you don't do the rule of five, you just want to do the rule of three or the rule of two, it's not going to work. It has to be the rule of five for a reason, and we're going to go over that on what you should be doing. So please make 
um, you know, what Paul and I talk about is make sure that you're doing self-assessment checks and making sure, yes, I'm doing this, this, and this, and this today. And then pretty soon it'll become a habit, and then you don't have to do that self-assessment check. But you should be doing a self-assessment check to make sure that you're hitting the rule of five, and then also watch your team to make sure that they're doing these too. Again, yeah. duplicate. Remember we talked so. about in one of the episodes not too long ago about giving your team the constructive feedback, asking permission to give the team the constructive feedback for each individual. Um, this is not a bad thing to look out for. Are they, are they doing the rule of five? And if they're not, you know, asking permission to, you know, talk to them about what might be more effective for their business efforts and results uh, might not be a bad way to go to approach it with this in mind. Okay, so it's not really what you say, it's what you do. Yeah. So number one of the rule of five is please make sure that you are a product of the product. Guys, you're going to think this is so trivial, but it's not. So please make sure you are a product of the product. And I know many of you are thinking, well, that's a no-brainer. No I get that, Lynette. But you'll be very surprised at how many people on your team are not a product of the product every single day. And there is no reason, there is no reason why you should become inactive in this business. Mm. You are the CEO of this business. Paul and I are literally giving you million dollar ideas and techniques, millions of dollars. You can make and, and earn a million dollars in this company if you do what we tell you to do, yet some of you go inactive. <laughs> okay, no more of that. We're 10 xing you are the CEO and you're a business owner now, and if you go inactive, that means you shut the doors to your business. You said, no, I don't want to succeed. Mm -mm. That's what you said. Mm -mm. $40 a week, guys. Let's get it together. If you got to get a second job, then do that. Paul had to do that. We hustled in the beginning to make sure that we went, that we were always active. We never, ever went inactive. So please be a product of the product. And if you are a product of the product every single day, you should have no issue because this is a matter, a matter of good, better, and best. Now, real quick, before we go into that, how many of good. you? Somebody bounced a rent, rent check to stay active. How, oh, yeah. <laughs> good. How, That's how what I'm many, talking about. How many of you have actually thought about the fact that is there a possible way that I could be a become a better product user? Well, that's what this is about. What you do now, we're asking you to think about how you can do it better and then become the best version of that of that particular action. So what she's talking about is there's a good, better, best version of being a product of the product. In the beginning, it was just us being able to stay active. Do you know how fast I went through that protein? Do you know how much this guy eats? Guys, I really want to hone in on this. I really need... We had no food in our refrigerator, but we kept our business open. We got pictures. I've got pictures to prove this. No food in my freezer and no food in my refrigerator, but I... If nothing changes, then nothing changes. I'm really passionate about this. Don't make me mad now. Don't make my red come out. <laughs> Please stay active. Um, again, I just want to really, really quickly go over this. It is a matter of good better and best. If you're in the beginning, just do what you can to stay active. Maybe just some shakes and Ionic Supreme or whatever company that you represent. Better, you may want to add a little bit more. Maybe some shakes, Ionic Supreme, Cleanse for Life, and maybe some ISO Omegas. Paul and I are now in the, in the position where we can do it best and we're on everything from Ageless Essentials to the Rejuvity. To are you on Rejuvity? Get on Rejuvity. To like 30 bottles of to protein a month. everything. For <laughs> everything. So it's good, better, best. You'll work your way up on what you can afford. But the moral of the story is be a product of the product. That's the rule one of mm -hmm. the rule of five. Never go inactive. And guys, it's about it's about doing the best you can at the position that you're at. So yes. the best we could do in the beginning was just stay active. And we ran out of product and we we're like, oh, that sucks. So we have to wait till next month to save up our pennies. So we remained active. And in the meantime, we were building our business. Um, and then when we could bump up into the better scale, we did. We added yeah. more products in. Now, uh, I can't get enough of the stuff, and we live on it all day, every day. So I'm sure you guys can agree that the more you use the products, the better you're going to feel anyway. So it's a win-win for everyone. Hey, yeah, so. 82, shh, 82, shh. <laughs> There's a method behind our madness. So, okay, so uh, Rule. rules of the game number, uh, no, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, rule, um, where are we at? Rule of five. Rule of five, number two. <laughs> rule of five, number two, is the... And this one, a lot of people have trouble with, and we cover this in depth. Prospecting. It sounds That's like scary guys, I already know what I should be doing. You guys are just stating the obvious. No, we're telling you, you have to prospect every single day. 
Why? Because the more you do it, the better you get. This is practicing. This is not prospecting. This is practicing. Okay? Okay, so we are what's called professional networkers. So I don't want the word prospecting make you anxious or make you uncomfortable because it's not. As long as you are branding yourself the way that we taught you how to brand yourself on Facebook, people mm -hmm. will start to come to you. This is reality, that guys. That is one way to prospect is on Facebook. And I'm going to give you homework that's going to 10x your life. So hang on. Don't jump off just yet. <laughs> We're helping you brand yourself on Facebook now because the 10 for one that our company tells you to do doesn't work because of the Facebook algorithm. You have to do what we tell you to do in regards to branding yourself at least a minimal five times a day to switch up the Facebook algorithm. The best we can tell is that method worked uh, even just a year ago, but the algorithm has changed three times since then, so and we need to be more present. And so and we can also prospect when we're out and about. If you're out in the grocery store, you're having dinner, or you're walking around the mall, whatever it is, Paul and I teach you about the four F's. So there's two ways you can prospect on Facebook, you're branding yourself, and then we teach you how to prospect out and about using the four F's. So easy, so simple. So again, the rules of the game, number one, is to please be a product of the product, and number two, you have to be prospecting every single day, and that includes branding and saying hello and complimenting and asking a question so you can lead into the four F's, and regardless of what you do, you're adding people into the product page. So. so. You know, uh, rule uh, the four F's. We'll get into it here in in a little bit, but that's just the technique we use to prospect face to face. But a, um, the rule of five, number three. So we have product to the product. Prospecting number three is following up, guys. This is where people drop the ball. Some people get good at using the product. Some people get really good at actually prospecting, but then they drop the ball on following up, and they wonder why is my business not growing. Let's be clear about this. We're going to throw out some numbers that are industry-wide uh, in marketing. Well, guys, and we'll get into the four Fs in just a minute. We need to get through the rule of five first, so hang with us, okay? Yep. Um, so in marketing, in uh, you know, be it in a, a conventional business or in network marketing, the stats are you have to follow up with somebody anywhere from four to 18 times before they make a decision. And what is our job? Our job is to educate so that they can decide and then we support. Now, following up freaks out a lot of people. They're like, I don't know how to do it. I don't want to get on the phone, blah, blah, blah. Neither do we. We don't want to get on the phone either. So, but here's so hold on. the... Because following up doesn't always include old school stuff. Following up doesn't include old school stuff anymore. Some of you are still emailing people and calling people up and you're private messaging people and you don't have to do it that way. Although those work, we're not saying that, but <clears throat> we're not saying that they don't work, but there is a much more fast and efficient way to follow up. So write these down because you're gonna be mind blown when we tell you exactly what follow up means because follow up means education. Guys, that's it. Follow up means education. And how do you educate people? You post in the product page. So follow up means education, and education means posting. You've got to post because post those that post the most make, make the, the most. most. So guys, this is why Eric Coover didn't just come up with some cool phrase. We educate, they decide, we support. Guys, he was talking about this for a reason. We educate meaning we prospect and then we follow up until. Following up is nothing more than educating them, and then they will decide not if, but they will decide when they start and with what they start, and then we support them. Because it's almost like clockwork that this happens. You're We've doing seen it every, over and over again. You're doing everything inside the product page. I really need to beat the horses, <laughs> beat the dead horse on this. There you go. The, pro the power of the product page will make your life so easy. We are about working smarter, not harder, and when you understand what it takes to really educate people, you'll be mind blown because you've got to be educating people in that product page about products. There is no business in the product page, no rank advancements, no talking about business because Paul gave a great analogy that your product page is like your virtual store. So people need to see the, you know, the, the pre-workout and the shakes and the different types of shakes and, and the before and after and the, pictures yeah. and 
free enrollment this week or whatever it is. You just educate, educate. Because remember with the Facebook algorithm, when you, oh my God, what is the product? Guys, page? okay, uh, I on, understand. Guys. There's some of you that have just jumped on with us, like literally today or yesterday, and you have no idea what we're talking about. Hold on with us. The product page is nothing more than a Facebook secret group that includes prospects, customers, and team builders all talking about the products. Okay. Okay. So, so that's the simple explanation, but we'll get into it more this week. Okay. We're going to wrap it all up. So when you're posting in the product page based on the Facebook algorithm, your prospect will get a notification on their phone or on their computer, which brings them, draws them back into the product page. This is how you're following up because remember again, Paul said four to 18 exposures before someone says yes. So you're educating about the presence pack, you're educating about the pay setters, you're educating about the 30 day systems and the custom pack, you're educating and you're blasting your company in the product page and it just, it's a beautiful thing. And it, do you guys have person's permission before? Yeah, yeah, we, we go into that, yeah, yes. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that here, that's yes. part of the, the prospecting, okay? okay? So guys, just, a, I just need we're to giving an overview, there's a lot of details in each one of these steps and we've gone over it many, many times. This is episode 84, we're gonna cover it all over the next week. Okay. We will pull, we'll pull it together. So if you're brand new, all I need you to do is just focus on this episode right now. Just hold off on your questions. I know you're anxious about all the in-depth in details, but I need to do an overview first so you can really see the magnitude and the power of what we're saying with the rule of five, and then we'll go into more detail about how to do the, the stuff in between. Mm -hmm. But I just need you to really write the other stuff down first so you can grasp it, because we need to show you a big picture first. Mm -hmm. So number one, product of the product. Number two, prospecting. Number three, following up, which is nothing more than education. Number four, teaching people about the products. Teaching people about the products. These include the don't new you, people don't that Don't you love it? I, see, I'm getting all these notifications. These are people on my team that are on Facebook that should be here on Periscope. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing? So number four is teaching people about the products. Why is this important? The more people understand how to use them, the better they'll get as far as a product experience for themselves, the easier it will be to convey the experience to other people when they ask, hey, what are you doing? Because you look amazing. Well, let me go ahead and show you. I'll go ahead and add, add you to our product page. We'll, we'll get into that, but the point is to teach people test. about the products, the new people that jump on board with you, the prospects in your product page, you're teaching them about the products so that they understand what they're getting into. And then the team builders, you want them to understand their product inventory. What do they have? What's their oh, business about? I mean, this is this is your business, so understand it. You don't have to know everything about ashwagandha or shilajit. You don't have to know about great seven-way protein like I do because I'm a total product <laughs> nerd. We're trying to keep, but, you, keep you from verbal vomiting, yeah, so don't verbal vomit. But the point right? is, it is it is important for you to use the educational tools that are already provided by your company and to educate those different groups of people on your team. Yeah. Okay, and then number five, number five is teaching people about the business. Now there's two things about this. Number one, you're teaching people about the business from the time you prospect them to the time they enroll and then even after. But from the time you prospect to the time you enroll, you're dropping seeds and you're planting seeds about the business using the tools. And we went through an A to Z example on Sunday that explained how to drop those seeds in there. If you haven't seen it, that's okay, follow us. This is big picture right now. The second part of that is from enrollment on. Now it's teaching people about the business from the enrollment point on. This will be determined by their commitment, their their interest and their response to what you actually do. And whether you can cast the vision, but I just want to clarify something really quickly. I'm a visual, I gotta go over it because I gotta compartmentalize it and make it organized in my head. And maybe some of you will appreciate that. But in the rule of five, we're talking about becoming a product of the product. We're talking about prospecting. We're talking about following up. We're talking about teaching about the product in the product page and we're teaching about the business in the business page. So, These two never collide and they never merge. Yes, They're two separate things when you're teaching. So as an inspirational leader, you will be inspiring prospects, you will be inspiring customers and your new team members about the products in the product page. But as an inspirational leader, now you'll be teaching about the business side over in the business page. So remember, teaching means posting. Mm -hmm. 
teaching means posting and some of you are not posting enough. So I want you to really 10x, step up in your leadership, whether you're just an associate, whether you're a manager, director or above, we can all use your help at regardless of what level you are because you've gotten to that level. So there are people in your business page that could use your expertise. So help someone get to manager if you are in a ma if you are a manager, you know how to do that. If you're a director, then help people get to director because at least you know how to do that. So I really want to hone in. Please make sure that you're posting and educating because as you post, your team members and your prospects will get a notification bringing them back in to that particular page. So okay? I want to clarify. On Facebook, we use Facebook to build our business. That's it. Okay. Mm. You have a personal page, you have a product support page, and you have a business support page. These are the pages we're talking about. When we're talking about the rule of five, we're talking about number four and five. Teach people about the products, teach people about the business. Guess what? You don't have to be the expert. Use that. the tools. You don't want to be the expert. Mm -hmm. Use the tools that are provided in each of those categories by your company and post them in the appropriate pages. Okay, so if it's about a product, go to the product information stuff about your company, pull out some of the stuff like that, add your own little flair to it. I love this because it keeps me stress free, blah, 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 add a picture. Off you go into the product page, post. In the business, you plus two, then plus two, this is how empires are built. Post that video, you know, this is just an example, but do you guys understand, I'm not creating a, this, uh, these, in, this information, I'm taking it, adding my information to it in the text on the top and I'm adding the tool in or the picture in or my experience in with this particular information. So don't be the expert on either one of those. Use the tools, use the tools, use the tools. And I want to also stress, please watch your energy because as you divert your energy, it will divert the energy of your own team and organization. Paul and I stress, get off Instagram, get off the other in our company, get off the other isogenics pages, get off start, get off ISA testimonials, get off shake it up and all the, get off of those. Come back home to your product page and your business page because your team is there. Your team's not out over there, so stop diverting your energy out there where there's no one out there. Come back and educate your team and your prospects and your organization will blow up. So stay home, stay here until you can master that, then you can go out there, but you haven't mastered that just yet, yes. okay? So that is the rule of five. Five swipes a day, you gotta do them every day, every single day. This builds consistency, it actually helps. The, the reason you do it every day is because you, when you start out doing it, you're gonna suck at it. So the, the more that you do it, and we just tell you to do it every day so that you can get better faster. And the faster you get better, the better you're gonna get. And the better you get, the faster you're gonna grow. So it's all about creating the consistency to build the momentum. Guys, this is a simple business. It's not easy, but it's simple. It's not easy because of this. This, the crazy train that tells you that that you're not worth it, or that I can't do it, or I don't know how to talk to people, or my posts suck, or you, all that. Yes, but since I post more, I have less likes on my page. That's just because you don't understand, and you haven't learned to master and manipulate the Facebook algorithm. That's why you're not getting any likes or comments. Just to re-clarify, if you're only having three likes and one comment, you haven't mastered the Facebook algorithm. You should be having anywhere from 10 likes to 10 comments or more. Yeah, we're gonna okay. we're gonna go into the Facebook algorithm. There is a way to manipulate this into your favor, and there's a way to teach your team the same so that they get the result they're looking for. Okay, so let's kind of repeat these. I know people were really writing really fast. You got hand cramp. You're like, oh my god, all this information. Real quick but on the comments and the likes, guys. Comments and likes don't equal business. It has nothing to do with, with mm -hmm. that. You don't get attached to the comments and likes as a validation that that post is good or that post oh, is bad. This is good. Re please repeat that because I really want you to, to, to hone in on this and understand this because some of you are still on the crazy train. Okay. If, if, if you're looking at the comments and likes as a validation whether a post is good or bad, you're in, you're in the wrong mindset. Guys, don't do that. It has nothing to do with anything. You don't know what people are seeing or not seeing. You don't know if people that see it and don't like it are actually more interested in the people that see it and do like it. It has nothing to do with anything. Well, nine times out of ten, they probably just don't see it. Yeah, most of the okay. time they don't see what you're doing, okay? But the point is, detach yourself from the outcome. Keep posting, keep going, keep okay. branding, Let's, and you'll get there. So best product and business pages to join are your own. 
Yes, there is no such thing okay. as joining best product and business pages. If your upline already has them, join those. If they don't, you're going to have to create them, guys. This is not good or bad. It just is, and it will take time to get that momentum going, but it will be so much more beneficial and easier in the long run. Okay? okay. So. Uh, okay, so, and then the last thing I want to talk about, guys, is color code. Okay, we talk about this all the time, and, and we can do a whole episode on this, and we probably will, but... Um, <laughs> If you haven't done it already, go to colorcode.com. Why? This is a personality test, so to speak. And I don't always like these things, but I like this one because it helps a person understand their driving core motive, and they've attached a color to that particular style of person. But not only does it give you an understanding of how you tick, both good and bad, don't use it as an excuse to be a, to accentuate those poor qualities of that particular personality type, but it also gives you an idea as to how to relate to the rest of the world that are not like you. If you can adjust that, you can attract more people into your business and create much more uh, of a dynamic, well-rounded business that other people can relate to. And that's the whole point of it. Go so, to colorcode.com, take that free test. Uh, one of our good friends, she, she took the in-depth test where you pay like 40 bucks for it and she found a whole new uh, idea about how she ticks and operates and how she interacts with the world and it's really helping so this is not to go um, unnoticed guys this really does work and help you understand yourself and other people you don't have to spend the forty dollars no. but if you want to go in depth to really understand your own psyche then do that but for just the most part you can just do a quick google search on color codes but you need to understand who you are you need to understand who your team who they are and how they function because mm -hmm. it is the core driving motive and sometimes reds don't get along with yellows and then you wonder why you're always clashing. Mm. Reds can dominate and really hurt a blue's feelings. Blues dominate our entire company. They in, your, or your organization. They're you're a majority like, of people. They're a majority the of people. Yeah. So you really need to understand how blues work. Reds are motivated by money and success and blues aren't. They're love they're loving and they like contribution and they're very like Paula Dean and Oprah like. You need to understand who these are, so please make sure you understand what color that you are. Okay, okay, you might be a little combination of both as well. And we're we're all a combination, but we do have a driving core motive. We have a dominant part of that particular color code, and that's what we want to relate to. So with that in mind. Hopefully that stuff helps. The rule of five is a game changer, guys. You have to do it every day. If you don't do it every day, I, I can't guarantee your results. But if you do do it every day, then your, your business will move in the right direction. And you combine this with the two-week turnaround, it's game over. You're a winner. Okay, so really quick, I've got homework for you, and then I'm going to go over the four Fs for those that keep asking about it. For homework today, I want you to friend request, send friend requests to 30 people. And I know that's getting out of your comfort zone. But we are professional networkers, so please, today, not this week, today, I want you to send friend requests to 30 people. But I'm scared. Well, you got to move past your fears. <laughs> There's nothing fearful by hitting going friend, send, add friend. There's nothing scary about that. Nothing. As long as you've branded yourself correctly. Um, you know, some of those people may not want a friend to request you back. I send out 30 today and I haven't re you know, heard back from half of them and that's okay. That's not the point. The point is you need to refresh and be adding new friends to your Facebook list as often as you can. Yeah, Clint Eastwood still has not friended me back, mm -hmm. but what else? And when they do, here's the, here's the trick. When they do friend request or when they accept your friendship, I want you to, to manipulate the Facebook algorithm and send them a private or a PM message and just say, thank you for the new friendship. That's it. Thank you for the new friendship. Maybe you, you've got a great looking family. Your, your son is so cute. Whatever you want to do, compliment and ask a question if you want. But the, Pri whole uh, the private message is nothing more than Facebook Messenger. That's what that is. So we call it private message. Okay. Well, when you do that, when you can manipulate the Facebook algorithm by, by sending them a private message, their information will show up in your newsfeed, and then your information will show up in their newsfeed, and that's the whole purpose of sending someone a private message, right? You want to build rapport, you want to build and build trust, but you they need to see your information, your post in their newsfeed. It's all about exposure, so please, mm -hmm. friend request, thirty new people today. Yep. So, um, so yeah, don't do it all back to back to back to back. Spread it out over the day, because um, Facebook is weird like that, and they like to put people in Facebook jail if you do too much of that too soon. I don't know why.
but um, just spread out throughout the day, 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon, 10 in the evening, and you're good to go. Yes, it actually helps if they're friends of friends. If you've got mutual friends, it makes it a little bit more safe, if you will. Maybe somebody might feel a little bit more safe. Mm -hmm. um, strategy to finding them. Well, for me, like for instance, my hometown is in Texas. So I find friends that are in my Texas hometown, and then I find a particular friend, and then find their friends. Mm -hmm. I look at their list of friends. <laughs> find their friend list. Go look at the friend list but if you are watching us on Periscope I need you to put your friend list on private so nobody can see your friend list yes okay yes so and somebody was already at 5,000 limit on Facebook so you're awesome and that's good uh, now it's time to manipulate the Facebook algorithm because you have plenty of people to work with okay so okay. Uh, with that in mind we're gonna get into the details all week of Wait, all these things oh oh my bad yeah four apps real quick four apps <laughs> When you're out prospecting is just simply you're wanting to say you should do what I do. This works so easily when you say you should do what I do. So the whole purpose of the four F's is to make sure that you're always adding value to people's lives. So you compliment and ask a question. You're literally training your, your ears and your eyes to see something so that you can say something to somebody. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful necklace. Where did you get that? Get, Great kids, beautiful ki kids, they're well-mannered. How old are they? The whole point is to ask a question or to compliment and ask a question because you can easily work your way into, you should do what I do. Well, they're going to ask, well, what do you do? Well, I help people feel better, get fabulously fit, financially free. Are you on Facebook? I can show you exactly what I do. Those are the four Here, guys. you're on Facebook. You're awesome. Is this you? Where are you at? Hand them your phone because this builds trust, and then you can find each other on Facebook. And then you could say... Would it be okay if I added you to our product page? You can see what it's all about. That's it. This is as simple as it gets. So real quick, when we're talking about out and about prospecting, which is nothing more than connecting with people, uh, it is compliment them, ask a question, get into a dialogue, this and is a, then... Well, this is a seed for business, and this is a seed also for the, um, the health products also. Mm -hmm. okay. Compliment, ask a question, you get into a dialogue, you eventually say, you should do what I do. And they say, what do you do? I get people fabulously fit. Feel. Feel better. Financially free. Are you on Facebook? Why, yes, I am. Okay, let me go ahead and find you. Get the phone. Friend request. Would it be okay if I add you to our product page? You can see what it's all about. And I want you to, again, flow like water because not everybody will have to say all four, no. all four Fs. Not everybody's going to friend request you back. Not everybody is going to do anything. It's okay. That's okay. Just flow like water. Do what you can. But the whole idea is to find them on Facebook so you can move them into your product page. So just flow like water. Some things will work. Some things won't. But literally, almost 95% of the time, it works. Yeah. Okay? If you, as long as you're building trust and rapport with them and make them feel special, the four Fs work so easy. Yes. Okay. So, guys. Ooh, I like that flowing. You want to be the five Fs now. That's, uh, that's, a, um, that's just a simple way that we prospect on a daily basis. That's what we need. We need something simple we could go to every time, no matter what the case, no matter what the person, no matter what the scenario. We could always go back to that and then connect with them through that. So, so, so the person who said they can't f make their friends list private, you can Google that. Yep. GTS, Google that. Stuff. Google that. Yep. It's in your privacy settings. Just click on friends and you'll see a little pencil to edit. Mm -hmm. And just put your friends where only you can see them. Yep. Okay? We love you guys. We want you to have just the most extraordinary life. Guys, you can build this business so easy. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. Just do the work. It's unsexy. It's, it's boring. It's monotonous. We do this every single day, but our business is growing. Your business is growing. So keep in mind, guys. We can only control what we do and the time that we have. And right now, all we have is today. So let's focus on giving our best today. We're in the 90-day game plan, but let's focus on today because one day at a time. It's those seemingly insignificant small daily actions that will create massive success. So let's focus on today and give it our best and see what happens. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, but as always, we, well, want we want nothing more than for you to live this extraordinary life. Guys, you can have this financial freedom you can and time freedom it's here it's waiting for you but do the work now so you can have this come january february and all of next year it's here you can do it i yeah. promise yeah we are the ones telling you you can do it so yeah. join us on our mission because it's a it's a stone cold fact we, we do we have a better way we, <laughs> we do we've got a better way now let's go tell the world guys. let's go tell the world guys have a great day. happy tuesday we love you <laughs>